G'day everyone, welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. Uh, I'm Nat, this is my Knackers Yard. It's kind of empty, because um, the beast has gone. Uh, so the Triumph calf conversion uh, was picked up yesterday uh, by uh, a really good courier actually, um, top book. Um, right, so what are we doing? Well, I'm shopping mostly, but um, still got CB400 Sting, um, who's still an absolute fucking dream. Um, Rue is on um, uh, eBay. Um, I probably put him on too early, to be honest, because the fees on eBay are fucking mental. Um, about fifty quid's worth of fees went on um, uh, on Beast. So, oh well, um, it's doing really well though. It's currently Thursday, Bank Holiday Thursday, which is unusual. And for those looking outside or watching from outside of the UK, we don't normally do a Bank Holiday Thursday. We normally just have Bank Holiday Mondays, but because it's a Queen's Jubilee weekend, we've got Thursday and Friday. Um, yeah, so what am I doing? Um, I changed the sparks. Uh, I did say it had the wrong ones. It was better, but still a bit laborious. Um, now I had a working theory, I have cleaned this carb uh, um, on and taken all the jets out and everything uh, previously. What I didn't do though, um, stupidly, was clean the pump. So I think I cleaned it, all was hunky-dory, it spat out the old shit from the pump into the carb. Uh, and uh, and I think it's clogged it slightly, so if I can, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, probably not, because um phones struggle with close focus no 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 anyway i'll tell you what i can see i can see through one quite clearly i can barely see through the other and these are the pilot jets so i think and the, the holes in the pilot jets are always tiny so i think it's just it's just kept itself basically so uh, i'm going to give this another douche throw it back together Oh, that's a better shot actually, but there's no light behind it, so you're not going to be able to see. Uh, no, that's not going to work. So I'm going to give these a good clean out anyway and see how I get on. All right, so probably tempting fate by confirming my diagnosis before I've finished. Yeah, I'm on focus. So that's the sort of stuff that I'm getting out. No, I did have this clean. Um, so I think it's just sucked the dirty fuel through the uh, pump into the carb and just gummed it up. It's not bad, but the pilot jets, or one of them was was certainly uh, pretty light now. Uh, there's no way of showing this, it's not. It's not uh, gonna show you, but yeah, I'm just gonna give this a really, really good clean. Now it's all clean fuel coming out. When I drained the fuel, it was nice and clean coming out. There's a couple of tiny specks in there float bowls themselves but nothing that would explain the difficulties that it was having so I'm going to give them a really good ream out uh, and see how we get on. Right so we've got the tank set up I did just turn the engine on uh, and turn the key on and got the pump priming but I missed you <laughs> I forgot to push record. broadly call that a success. Doesn't look like I've got any leaks around the car. Job is a given. Um, what I did do with the car, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get you in. Let me get you the stand. What I did do with the car is I replaced the uh, 
float covers or the bolt covers sorry uh, the bolts well, the ones that there were they were they were fine they were just they were a bit mangled and when they get mangled you can't get the pressure you need on the um on the gasket itself um yeah i think that seems happy that seems happy uh, i think i'll try and chuck it back together and get the tank back on i'll drop you back in hey buddy you all right with your cone of shame <laughs> You alright mate? Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. She's got a cut on her leg uh, from the groomers actually, but she's got a cut on her leg and she kept licking it so she's now got a very expensive cone of shame. <laughs> well it is. Right, um, let's get this bike back on. Wait buddy, come on. Right, so there we go, all buttoned back up. Tank on. Fuel on. Instrument panel on. The one thing I haven't put on because I always forget. Speedo cable. I'll do it now because I'll forget later. Mark on my fault there. Yeah, it is a bit of a bit of a dip dance um, with that instrument cluster because you need to put the speedo cable in first and then plug everything in. You need the space generated by unclipping that. Push it through to give you enough space at the top. Uh, there's always one thing you forget, isn't there? There's two things in this case. Mm. Forgot to bolt the tank on. That could have been interesting. It's always a good reason why I have a little bowl to keep the bits in that I just glance at and think that I've got any spares. steady tick over and I think we're good but the only way I'm really going to know is by leaving it a couple of days and then going for a cold start again Let's get it pushed away right I'm getting harassed to feed kids so um, that will do us for this one a uh, nice simple one and I'm really glad it was actually because obviously this is on the market it's got bidders um, uh, it is going to go but it was just uh, it just started to get a bit grumpy um, but no, happy, think that's sorted. I'll just have to leave it fallow for a day, go for a start um, and see how we get on. Um, as far as stable mates are concerned, I'm still shopping and I, and I can't remember who suggested uh, an Aprilis shiver, but that's looking good at the moment. There is one relatively local going for a good price, so meh, I'm not sure. Um, I have talked myself out of overly sensible. Um, there was, of all things, a Dullsville, uh, a Honda Deville, um, which frankly would have been perfect as a commute bike. It's got panniers, it had a rear box, etc., etc. But it is just that bit dull. Um, you know, I don't want to go to work every day with my hair on fire, but I also don't want to snooze on the way there or the way back. So um, I have taught myself out of going too sensible so far, uh, but we shall see. Um, still shopping. <laughs> right, cheers all. Catch you later. Ta da. <laughs> Thank you.